If you've been following me on any of my social media, you know that I had this person in my life that I loved very, very much and still do for some reason. And um, it's been this thing that's been going on since last year. I think February is when it started. And it's been very up and down. But the most recent thing that I found out has really sent me reeling and it really sucks because, you know, I thought that he at least loved me because you can love somebody and be careless with them. And part of me was subconsciously holding out for the day that he got some things in order and whatnot. I still very much in love with what he portrayed himself to be. And um, because I know, I thought that, oh, this and this and that, maybe this, maybe that, you know, all the shit that happens sometimes when you fall in love. Um, Anyways, I fell in love with him, and we had a falling out, and then we kind of started talking again, and in that time he told me that he loved me, and sorry it isn't that, that he loved me so much, and um, all that shit, and he asked me to be his girlfriend, and I said yes, and well, it started almost immediately falling apart because the next day he broke it off and, and then um, caught him in a couple of lies and I was like what the hell is going on and I really wanted needed to talk to him about the situation and he wasn't going to do that because I honestly now I know he doesn't care anywho after that happened, I desperately tried talking to him and getting him to talk to me or to come and talk about what is what was going on, but couldn't even get that get a simple "Are you okay?" or whatever. But I mean, we had talked about the other situation and things about the lies, and I thought part of it might have been because of fear, because of whatever reason. And I thought that, you know, I don't know, part of my brain was like, oh, but this, oh, but that. I was like, but maybe he actually does care. Maybe he's damaged and maybe this and that and all this other stuff. Like, or the fact that I know that I thought that he sincerely loved me, even though he was kind of careless and took me for granted. Um, that, ugh, he definitely took me for granted, alright, I'll just say that. Anyway, I thought he was blocked on everything, and he wasn't, and something struck my attention. I knew that he, I mean, like, I, well, I knew that he had a a girlfriend because it was obvious by the look of things and I was like okay I wonder because one of the things that I was told about was that he was trying to date someone else as well as me and he had another woman that he was interested in so I was trying to line things up and get closure for myself um, and then um, and then it dawned on me because if he had loved me I would have been at least I would have been he would have at least you know like said something about it about me talked to me a little bit more but I realized that he wasn't that I don't think he was in love with me that he was in love with what I did for him and that really hurt to realize that he was that he didn't actually love me all that time that he had said he did even though there has been 
eight, nine months between that, or ten months now, almost ten months between now and the last time we talked because I we had a falling out and I stopped talking to him because he was being a, an ass. And I couldn't invest that kind of energy into something like that. It wasn't good that I didn't think that it was entirely a lie. So, I found that out last week. And realizing that is a very hollow, terrible feeling. And it's a, it's a different kind of grief that I really can't explain adequately. Because, I mean, I invested my heart in him, my soul. I wanted to do whatever I could for him, to be there for him, to to all to just I just tr all I ever tried to do was love him, and then this found out that he doesn't love me, that he I was being hidden, that it had nothing to do with privacy, it had everything to do with hiding me. Because I think part of it is that I'm nine years older than him, and um, maybe part of his decision was shame. Maybe, but either way, I don't think he actually loved me. He liked the fact that he was with that he had kind of this whatever it was with an older woman. That was something that. I think that he enjoyed, he thought was cool or awesome or whatever, and now what I don't understand is that after he was blocked for two months, he started coming around again and, again and pulled me back in, and he told me that he loved me, and that he was, I thought he really made a, a turning point, hit a turning point, but he didn't. It was just a ploy. It was just a, a sick game. Sickening thing to do. Anywho, I keep going through everything in my head, but sometimes. But it hurts like hell, but I know that this is going to push me to move away, move on from him all the faster and to heal a little bit better. Because now I have the closure that I need. I went back on there because I needed to piece a couple of things together because there were things that didn't make any sense. So I figured it out all on my own. And in that time, I don't think he even realized that, I don't even think he realizes he's ever been blocked or whatever. That, that, said, that said a lot about this revelation I've had and it changed everything. All the memories that were so wonderful and sweet are now tainted and bitter because they were founded on a lie. Lies on lies on lies. And no, I don't want him in my life or anything like that, but I'm still dealing with the trauma and the mess that was left. So I am grieving what I thought I had because it's totally different now because I know that it's bullshit and a lie and it really sucks. I keep fluctuating between enraged to dissociated to completely just bereaved. And um, it's going to take some time, but I'll recover from it and I am going to be okay. This is normal and natural and it's a normal part of grief. Um, it would be, I mean, you can, you know, talk about it and things like that, but I don't want to hear, just get the fuck over it. So much time has passed. I am trying to get the fuck over it. I'm in therapy. And this is one of the things that I'm trying to work on. I'm grieving. And this is how, this is my way of grieving. And if that's too much for you to handle, then that's not my fault or problem. That's you. Um... But it's real. It's it's real. It's the way that I feel. It is what it is. And 
This too shall pass, but this is a recent blow that has been delivered to me. And it's devastating when you lie to somebody about loving them when you really don't. It's not a casual thing to say or to do. If you don't love somebody, do not say you love them because it's agony when you find out that they don't care about you. That's hell. So don't put anyone through that because if you go through something like that, you will understand. But it doesn't mean that you can be cruel to lie to people. He's been through bad shit. Very difficult, rough, dark, bad shit. He knows what it's like to be betrayed. He's been through a lot in his life. Thought he would at least know better than to fucking lie about being in love with someone. And finding out that it's all been bullshit and lies. Well, that he doesn't, he probably doesn't even give a flying fuck that I've been gone for 10 months. He probably doesn't really notice that much. So, this is my ante to just move on and to use a technique that I learned, which is whenever he com in comes into mind and I start to ponder on things, just say, no, stop it. He's bad for you. He is not. He will bring chaos and pain into your life, just like he always has. And you don't need that. You don't want that. You're better than that. So, with that being said, I deserve better than what he put me through. And I am moving on. And I am being, and I am strong. But this is my process. And it's going to take time, but I'm going to be okay, and I'm trying to flip this into a positive and use this as anti to be even, become even better, and to keep on enjoying my life and smiling in spite of the pain, I can still enjoy and love my life and make positive strides and not let this thing pull me under because I've been through a lot hella worse than being lied to it hurts like hell but I've been through a lot worse so my revenge is knowing that I am surviving and that I'm and that I will thrive that I am thriving that I'm making positive strides in my life and either you're on my side or you're in my way that's a line from a Slayer song, but it's words to live by. You're either on my side, or else you're in my way. As far as friends, friends go, and people that you that are around you, you don't need to stay in a situation where someone just keeps on tripping you up and fucking you up. I mean, yeah. So, yes, I'm hurting. Yes, it's bad pain, but I'm okay. I will be okay. And I'm better than him. So, 